the B-29. It's the aircraft that revolutionized long-range bombing. Behind me is the B-29 Super Fortress. This aircraft was a marvel of engineering and manufacture and the most expensive weapon system of World War II. The B-29 is 99 feet long, nearly 28 feet tall, and its wingspan measures out to a whopping 141 feet. To get it off the ground, the Super Fortress relies on four massive piston engines. Well, these are Curtis Wright 3350s, and they're 2,200 horsepower apiece. So they provide a lot of power, but at a heavy aircraft like this, you certainly need it. These supply the 60-ton bomber with enough power to reach speeds up to 365 miles per hour. Combined with altitudes up to 32,000 feet, the Army Air Forces hope the B-29s can get in and get out before the Japanese even know they're there. The B-29 is armed with enough firepower to make it an aerial fortress. Here I have twin 50 caliber Browning uh, machine guns. They're attached to a lower gun turret. We have an upper gun turret and several others around the aircraft that make this a formidable weapon system. The B-29's five gun turrets are located on the top, bottom, and tail of the aircraft. The four gunners and the bombardier can take control of the turrets remotely using the B-29's computerized system. This is the gun sighting device, and whichever uh, of the gun turrets I have control over, and that can vary, will be uh, connected to this device. And if I rotate it, that tilts the guns up and down. If I twist, it'll turn the gun turret. As an enemy fighter approaches, one gunner can take control of multiple turrets. Using the computerized gun sights, the B-29's targeting system estimates the path of the aircraft and calculates where to fire. It was very well respected by the fighters because they knew if they got anywhere near this aircraft, they were gonna get obliterated. 